Welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legends. With me, Xenolith. Oh, finally finished those. Now, let's add haunts. Though I suppose I could... Oh no, I don't have any finished Sisters of Mercy Villages. So haunts for 15% science. And a good unit. the other order, because I did the same with the other units. Neither of those helps against the Wild Walker AI, but the Roving Clans, they have cavalry, so I'll go with these weapons, so I don't have to retrofit new ones. That one, science, okay. Well, this would help with the lake city. No, I already have some palladium production going. So, plow factor is good. Low is my very low. <laughs> I need forty five instances of a resource. Six per turn. It's a bit too slow. There we go. I do have increased vision, I believe. I might be able to see what he has there. Even 
more units. Oh man. Well, this one has a higher level. Well, it has lower health though. Well, I think the level is more important. Yeah, look at those stats now. A bit scarier than before. Can't afford to settle right now. I think I might just try to buy a piece. Yeah, they still have two cities. Silver is something they care about, apparently. Wait, what? They don't care about wine? Or gold? <laughs> it's fine by me. Do I really need now? While he's pieced out, I can get rid of the neutral units here, and then I can put my full attention towards purple. borders if you want. I 
I wish that was a link to the actual city. That way I could check how high my maintenance is. 31, so 30%. Uh, <laughs> 10 dust. What if I don't know? Of course I could get this. Maybe I will next turn. Let's build a unit that just exists for the sake of building money. Very creative unit name there. feel so bad about having empty queues. Could have thought of that before. I wouldn't have built so many settlers. Nothing interesting here. Here. Or maybe I can pull a bit back. As long as it still gets built in two turns. defense. I trust in my upgraded ranges. Sixty six for 
how much industry is it? 173. Hmm. That's not as good. In that case, it's better to just put it there. Finally, last expansion disapproval. Twin Red Sang, good resource. Sadly, not enough for a booster. Two more researches. More trade routes, maybe? This one? It has been a time of great learnings. First, you learned that. Ahak Adahi would rather die than admit his failures. He and a band of shaman attacked the palace hoping to start a revolt. Your hand has not been of the sword hill much of late, but you still had the reflexes needed to run him through the door at the, through at the door of the throne room. Those who followed him turned to lichens and disappeared in the night. Many fell defending you, and some of those were from the peoples you assimilated. You also learned that you commanded great loyalty. You learned, finally, that rumors of a great thing called Zoltano were in fact stories centered around a person. A haughty Zoltano, tales indicate that he was once a wild walker and that he has studied the secrets and structures of the ancients for many decades. He has named them the Endless, for he believes that the works will endure until the end of time. Two things are certain. Zoltana would be of enormous value to you, and you have no idea where he is. Alright, 30 gold is at least enough for a booster with what I have. Let's see. Where that is. to the rumbling stones first.
Oh, these. Can get to those soon. A lot of demons. Um. AI? What the heck? That's. Oh, there is a cliff. Yeah, there is. That explains it. Okay, since winter will end next turn. I can go ahead and... Well, I won't buy at that because there's not much point while well, it's besieged. I'm going to assume that's a settler. It isn't. Yes. <laughs> I assume harmony for necrophages means consumption. Definitely worth it to buy that. Did I forget? Oh, I don't think that I forgot one. Right, that's something I need, of course. Four of them. Well, they do 30 damage. So, plus 20% is it for Range Slayer 1? Even if they do hit me, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm much, much, much more concerned by the demons. for six. I don't want to fight seven demons at once. So maybe move here. work. Seven hundred dust now for him. And is there an Ardent Mage, maybe? No.
my son's rage should shoot up very soon. And are they not interested in attacking? Doesn't seem so. This gives me one tile, this gives me two tiles, and one of which is a forest. Vision there. probably want to get this to at least 10 or 12 population so I can get at least two more bars including this one And this one is... I want to be a 10 as well. And if I do nothing... Yeah, it should grow fast enough, just by itself. Ah, oh, Hardened Mage. With Science Post 1. Yes, that's the one I want. Of course, these are good as well. Sorry. Oh no, that's two more attacks. Well, there goes nothing. <laughs> Seven demons. Oh boy. Luckily they have the slow trade. And the reinforcements won't just suddenly pop in. Of course, focus fire the closest targets first. Maybe they overestimated them a bit. They might not be that good without equipment. ridiculous. Hmm. 
Now do we want the damage or the attack? Probably the flat damage first, and then the attack, and then the percent base damage. No action points, so I'll just... I wanna just explore the ruin. Starblade. Not very useful. And I can buy out this now. Palladium is queued up, or isn't it? Oh no, I built on the Palladium. Right. Let's check on my happiness again. Well, this will increase happiness by 5 locally. I need one more burrow to start stabilizing and approval. Here as well. <laughs> and of course, here I need to regrow quite a bit of population. Plus two dust from minor faction? That confuses me. On terrain with anomaly. Probably not a good idea to queue up all those resource intensive buildings. possibly go wrong. Mm. Let's clear the other one first and I'll get this one when I backtrack. Checked on those new cities before. It's probably about time now. Now that I fully assimilated them, I get the full approval bonus. start doing stuff.
suppose this one will be useful. Okay, fine. Let's shave off one turn. How much? 400? Is it? 300. Uh, it's not quite in my power. Okay, let's queue up the first barrow to actually increase my district level in this city. Anything useful revealed by the tower? Not much. This could be an island or part of the main continent. Can't tell just from the information I have. Falters are more army leaders than governors. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could get this guy in this region. Or any other broken lords here, really. Now let's check if I can make use of his resource. Gathering increase thing. What do we have in this region? Glass steel dies. Okay. Definitely not a priority right now. Guess I could use my settler to explore the rest of these regions. I'm assuming DI has already pacified them with swords, or in the wild worker's case, arrows. I'd also like to know what resources are hiding there. None in this case. Oh, two more here.
Ah, we're in the everything, I think. Hero unassigned? What? Uh, what? Didn't I assign him to a city? Could I really be that negligent? Both of these don't benefit too much from... Well, this one doesn't benefit from a wild walker here at all, so let's put him here. Not a lot of nat natural industries, so canal systems, canal systems might not be such a good idea. I suppose burrow in the direction of the river, or no, that would need quite few burrows. Um, I think is that a resource or something special? Oh, it's ruins. I see. Definitely want the happiness. need that one very urgently. This one will help me dramatically though. Plow factory. It is busy. Okay, queue up plow factory here. Won't actually matter because of the bonus food from the improvement. So I don't need to min max that. I suppose I could make the same argument here if I queue up a plow factory. with our huge movement speed saying let's move slowly somewhere <laughs> it's really very slow let's see For a forest type of province. Let's see what's still governor less. Snake guys. Four resources. Well, 
there is a bit of forest here. And I will expand in somehow like this. S some kind of snaky way. So let's see if it's this one. Yeah, he has good boosts. Excellent. Hello, Necros. After the plow, maybe another ranger unit. Right, this one's just for rivers, but it's still a good one. Or rivers and lakes. Yeah, we're closing on to 50 minutes again. Well, we're close. Close to consolidating our territory. Maybe send this settler up here, and then t take this region. Once I have some more lux or luxury resources, and... For example, maybe I get these. Though they tend to be fairly rare. In any case, after I've snatched those two regions, it looks like I've I'll be bordered on every side. So I think the first target will again be purple. He should still only have two cities. Let me check. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can suggest it when not being in war. That is, when not making a truce. In the case, let's have a quick look at the screen before we end this episode. Yeah, score-wise, not doing too badly, as strong as they are. Yeah, we are competitive in population. I have more expansions. I have more research, which is good. More food, great. Lots of more industry, yeah. Once I get the higher tier improvements, I'll just outgrow them. Yeah, look, double the science output. Alright. Thanks for watching.